This is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, and it's easily become one of my favorite tools for documenting projects around the shop. Today, I thought it'd be fun to take a look at a few 3D printable accessories that you can print too. Let's take a look. This one is a cold shoe adapter, and what you do with this one is you slide it on to the bottom of the Osmo Pocket, and it gives you access to cold shoes to attach accessories to. So, for example, I have this little LED light here. I could slide that on to one of the cold shoes, adjust it to point at me, and then if I'm doing a walking and talking shot and um, the lighting isn't great, I can light my face. Another thing you could add to it is this little microphone. And you could slide that on there and then have um, your microphone pointing directly at you so it's out of the shot, but you're still getting that good uh, mic'd up audio sound. Originally, I didn't even plan on printing this. I didn't think it was useful. Um, it just wasn't grabbing my attention, but I'm glad I did because after using it for just a couple minutes, I saw the utility in it. So. Definitely useful for doing walking and talking shots if you're walking around your shop or your office and you wanna be able to have an external light or get the microphone out of the shot, you can put it on here. That alone is a great use case for it. The only thing I would change about this, and I may if I design my own, is the way this is set up is when you slide it on, it catches the little ears that the tripod mount clip to, so you can't use the tripod mount with it. If I redesign this, I want to design it in a way where I can clip the tripod mount on still. That way I can put it on a tripod and if I want to use any accessories or just keep the accessories on while I'm popping between a walking shot and a tripod shot, I can do that. It would be nice to be recording in the shop and then if I want to grab the camera and take you guys for a walk with me, I don't have to um, set everything back up with the cold shoe. So that's, uh, that's something I would change and like I said, I'm in. This one is a fairly long print, but if you wanna go super low profile with your camera and just throw it in your bag, have the bare essentials of what you need, this one's great. I also like that you can add a pop of color with the DJI logo and the clasps. You don't have to, but I thought that was a nice look, so I did it. And this is a very simple case that just holds the camera without the, um, without the case that it comes with then you've got slots for filters and memory cards. So this is a bare minimum way to carry your camera while keeping it protected. This print took about, I'd say about four hours between the, cl uh, the clips and the case itself. To assemble it, you just need a couple M3 screws. They go into the hinges on the back and then on the clasps in the front and then the bottom screw is what actually catches the clasp. Pretty cool little print for your Osmo Pocket 3. I printed this one out of PETG, but I think PLA would do just fine. And this is a great little print to keep your camera protected if you're traveling with it and you don't want to have all your accessories, you just wanna have the bare minimum. This next one is what inspired this whole video. I was looking for an easy way to set my Osmo Pocket on my desk so that I can use it as a webcam without setting up a tripod, and I found this little base. This is set up with a port on it so you can use the tripod mount, slide it in there. You're, you still have access to your USB port so you can hook it up to your computer as a webcam, and then you just clip your Osmo Pocket on, and you have a stable base to set this on your desk and use it as a webcam. So this next one is Pretty No Frills. It was a really quick print, but I think it serves a lot of purpose, especially if you're using the case that came with the Osmo Pocket 3. As you know, this is the case that comes with the Osmo Pocket 3. It does a pretty good job, but it is open on the back, which is great for quick removal and use, but it does leave the gimbal slightly exposed. So I found this 
gimbal cover on either printables or um, maker rolls. I'll link it in the description. But um, yeah, this just snaps onto the existing case and protects the gimbal. So like I said, pretty simple, no frills accessory, but could save your camera should you drop this and it pops out of the case. This one here was listed as a backpack attachment for the Osmo Pocket 3. And the way it works, it uses the GoPro two finger mount, then you would attach it to a GoPro mount that is designed for a backpack strap. That being said, there are other GoPro specific mounts for the Osmo Pocket 3 on the different printing sites that you can look for. But I honestly think this one that is called a backpack attachment is probably one of my favorite GoPro attachments for the Osmo Pocket 3. So this works really well, especially well with this GoPro suction cup mount. So I can attach it, put the thumb screw in, and then throw it up on the dash of my window, throw it up on a mirror, and then I have a hands-free uh, recording device. The fit is really good too. So it just slides in like this, exposes the power or um, record button and your joystick. I do think they should have left a little more room to get your finger and thumb in there. I don't have exceptionally large uh, hands and I found it sometimes a little hard to hit the record button, but the overall functionality of this outweighs that small um, nitpick that I have. Even though this is called a backpack attachment, I think this is probably the best GoPro attachment in general for the Osmo Pocket 3. And I think it's useful for more than it was intended for. The last one I'm gonna share with you guys is actually a little bit of a bonus and it's my own design. So this is an extended grip. It slides over the tripod mount and then you screw a quarter 20 tripod bolt down into the barrel of it, which holds it in place. And it gives you a bit of an extended reach. Um, so like I said, it's not quite done yet. I need to move the um, USB port up a bit so that there's easier access to the USB port. I felt like I wanted to contribute something to this list of great accessories for the Osmo Pocket that you can print. And this is what I'm working on. So everything I showed you guys today that you can 3D print for the Osmo Pocket 3 is gonna be linked in the description. I'm compiling everything into one easy to use link so you can get access to everything. I'm also gonna include uh, the link to this design that I'm working on. Like I said, it's still a work in progress, but it is still very functional. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more videos like this where I kind of dive into a specific topic surrounding things you can 3D print for something for an activity, let me know in the or comments what you'd like to see. I'll see you guys in the next one.